Welcome to Leila's Classics. The first question is solve 64 cube root x power 9 divided by cube root 64 x power 6. We know that 10th root x is equal to x power 1 by n. So here we can write 64 x power 9 whole power 1 by 3 divided by same way 64 x power 6 whole power 1 by 3. And we know that uh, here 3 1s 3 3 is cancelled because x power m whole power n equal to x power m n. This is a formula. So, in the same way, in the next term also, 3 1s, 3 2s. Now, 64x cube divided by 64x square. Here, 64, 64 will be cancelled. And out of 3x, 2x will be cancelled. So, the answer is x. Next question. Here, quadrilateral. In this word, um, Q, A, D, R, I, L, A, T, E, R, A, L. All letters which is having order more than 1. We know that I has order of symmetry 2. So, the answer is I. Simplify 125 power 1 by 3 plus 2, 125 power 1 by 3 minus 2. This is looking like x plus a into x minus a. And we can write like a plus b and a minus b means a square minus b square identity also. But uh, here uh, we can do in another way by because 125 is a cube of 5. So we can write 5 cube whole power 1 by 3 plus 2 and 5 cube whole power 1 by 3 minus 2. So 3 3 cancelled as I said before a power m whole power n equal to a power m n. So again. 3 3 cancelled 5 plus 2 into 5 minus 2 so the answer is 7 into 3 21 now find the value of x 2 by 5 whole power minus 6 into 5 by 2 whole power 5 equal to 2 by 5 whole power x here x is in the power in this case we need to equal the basis because if basis were equal the powers may equal so we need to uh, the we need to equal the basis here 2 by 5 and 5 by 2 different bases are there we need to change the 5 by 2 the reciprocal of 5 by 2 is 2 by 5 so the power will get minus because why because a power m equal to 1 by a whole power minus m a reciprocal is 1 by a so the power will get minus now both sides bases are equal here we need to make um, in LHS we need to make a single term. We know that a power m into a power n equal to a power m plus n two by five whole power minus six plus of minus eight means minus fourteen equal to two by five whole power x. Now bases are equal, powers are equal. Therefore x equal to minus fourteen is the answer. Now the next one simplify four into x power one by five into six into x power four by five into five x power zero. We know that. Uh, a power 0 is 1 so 5 into 1 um, now 4 6 5 or the coefficients we can multiply separately gives 120 and x power 1 by 5 x power 4 by 5 uh, having same basis so as per the formula x power m into x power n x power m plus n uh, and 1 by 5, 4 by 4 are the li like fractions. So we can add the numerators. 4 plus 1 gives 5 and by 5 both are cancelled. So 120x is the answer. Next one divide minus 45x square y by root 3xy square. Here out of uh, 2x is 1x cancelled and out of 2y 1y cancelled. Now 45 as root 3 is in a denominator, we have to write as 15 into root 3 into root 3. As we know that um, any number a, a is written as root a into root a. So by using that we, we are writing uh, 3 as root 3 into root 3. Now we can cancel the root 3. So the answer is minus 15 root 3 x by y. Now, if 8436 by root x equal to 84.36, then find the value of x. Yeah, the both sides having same digits, 8436, 8436. The difference is decimals. So, 
we can write 8436 by root x equal to 84.36 as two decimals are there we can keep uh, two zeros means 100 in the denominator to remove the decimal so now both sides we can cancel 8436 now by cross multiplication 100 equal to root x squaring on both sides 100 square equal to root x whole square and square and root will be cancelled now x equal to 100 square which gives 10,000 that is the answer now for the next one in the given figure pq parallel to rs and ef parallel to qs if angle pqs equals 60 degrees find the measure of angle rpe so now here if you observe the figure pq parallel to rs okay we can extend ef as that is a ray fe ray and fe is parallel to qs so uh, this is a parallelogram uh, opposite sides are parallel to each other and we know that opposite angles also equal so angle pqs is equal to angle efs uh, so that is 60 and as linear pi condition um, angle rp gives 180 minus 60 degrees which is 120 so both sides are um, parallel so angle pqs is equal to angle efs that is 60 degrees as linear pair condition angle efs and angle efr yes efr or rfe which is given in the question or linear pair so angle rfe equal to 180 minus 60 degrees which gives 120 degrees is the answer now a line segment AB equal to 15 centimeters is divided internally in the ratio 2 is to 3 find the length of each part see this is a figure of uh, AB 15 centimeters actually figure not required so it is given that the this line segment is divided into 2 is to 3 ratio means the first part is 2 parts and the next part is 3 parts means total parts 5 parts means 5 parts is equal to 15 centimeters so one part equal to 15 by 5 3 centimeters we want two parts and three parts so two parts equal to 2 into 3 6 centimeters and uh, three parts equal to 3 into 3 9 centimeters if you check also 9 plus 6 gives uh, 15 centimeters so the answer is correct Now, if x and y vary inversely, inversely proportion means x is proportional to 1 by y means x y equal to constant k. Uh, given that the constant of variation is 5, means uh, k is 5 and y equal to 15. So, x into 15 gives uh, x into 15 equal to 5, x equal to 5 by 15, which cancelled 1 by 3 and x is 1 by 3 is the answer.